In this video, we're going to take a look at the future of home backup power. This past week, I was in Las Vegas at RE+, which is the largest renewable energy conference in North America. It's massive, over 40,000 people, more than 1,000 companies, and just about every kind of solar, battery, and energy technology that you can imagine. If it powers your house, your business, or even a city, it was on display there. Now, a lot of what's at RE Plus is geared towards utility companies, large installers, and government contracts. That's not really what most of us care about in our day-to-day -day lives. But tucked inside, all of that are the things that matter most to people like us. Reliable backup power for our homes when the grid goes down. What I wanted to do at RE Plus was filter out all the noise and zero in on companies that were moving past the little portable camping batteries and starting to bring forward scalable systems. These are solutions that can keep your fridge cold, your lights on, and your communications power during an extended outage. That's a massive shift in this space. And for years, companies have focused on small, portable solar generators that are handy for short trips, tailgates, or a quick charge in a pinch. Those are fine for what they are, but they don't really cut it in a real grid down situation. What's happening now and what I saw all over the expo floor is that these manufacturers are building bigger batteries, smarter inverters, and smarter ways of switching between grid power and backup power. That's the future of resilience at the household level. And that's what I'm gonna cover in this video. I'll walk you through what I saw from the companies like Jackery, Blue Eddy, EcoFlow, and even some of the big upstream players who are shaping where this whole industry is going. Some of this technology is ready right now and some of it points to what's coming down the road. So stick around until the end because I'm gonna share my thoughts on where backup power is headed and what I think are the smartest entry points for people who want to start protecting their homes today. Jackery. Let's start with Jackery because they've been in the portable power space for a long time and are now leaning in the home backup systems. They've built out a product line called the Essential Home Backup Series. The idea is simple. Instead of buying one expensive whole home battery, you can pick the size that fits your needs and expand it if necessary. At their booth this year, Jackery showed three models, the Explore 5000 Plus, Home Power 3600 Plus, and the Home Power 3000. The new Jackery Home Power 3000 is the entry point. It's designed to cover essentials like a fridge, lights, internet, and a few small appliances. It won't run an entire house, but in a short outage, it keeps you comfortable without taking up much space or requiring insulation. Step up to the Jackery Explorer 5000 Plus and you can run a bigger load for longer. This is where you can start covering not just a fridge and lights, but also fans, a window unit, or some cooking appliances. It's still portable enough to move, but the added capacity makes it a solid mid-tier option for households that want more breathing room. The new Jackery Home Power 3600 Plus is their newest release. It sits between the 3000 and 5000 in capacity, but uses updated technology and design. And it takes an interesting approach of bridging the gap between affordable, portable, expandable, and can be tied with another 3600 to output 240 volts, providing practical home backup. And I think they've hit the sweet spot for those looking for some serious options for backup power without breaking the bank and it can upgrade as their budget permits. Since it's brand new, I'll be releasing a dedicated video soon that takes a deeper look at how it performs in real world scenarios. Both the Home Power 3600 Plus and the Explorer 5000 Plus can be paired with Jackery Smart Transfer Switch. Instead of running extension cords, the switch connects directly to a critical load subpanel. When the grid goes down, it automatically transfers key circuits, fridge, lights, router, or medical devices of battery power, and then switches back when the power is restored. And this integration makes the units feel more like a scalable backup solution rather than just a portable power source. You can still pick up the battery if needed, but paired with a transfer switch, it becomes part of your home's defense against outages. And what stands out about this lineup is the flexibility. You can start small with the 3000, move over to the 3600 for a balance of portability and capacity, or go to the 5000 for heavier coverage. Add the smart transfer switch when you want seamless integration, and you've got a practical path from small portable power to proper home backup. Up. Blue Eddy. Next up is Blue Eddy, and they had a couple of things at RE Plus that really stood out. The big one was their new Apex 300 home battery backup. This is Blue Eddy's move into the larger home backup space with a system that's designed to keep essential circuits powered during an outage. It's built for people who want something beyond a portable box, but who aren't ready to jump into a massive whole home install. They've also come out with batteries that you can put behind your refrigerator to power it during typical outages. Now, the other piece that caught my attention was Blue Eddy's new sodium ion battery solar generator. This is the first of its kind in the industry. Why does that matter? Well, lithium batteries are powerful, but they come with supply chain and cost challenges. Sodium, on the other hand, is far more abundant and cheaper to source. Even more interesting, sodium ion performs better in extreme cold, or lithium tends to lose a lot of capacity. 
Now, this first Blue Eddy model isn't sized for running your whole house. It's more of a portable power station, but it's a glimpse into the future. If sodium ion technology scales, it could mean more affordable, more resilient home backup systems down the road. For now, it's a cool innovation and a sign that the battery market is diversifying in ways that could benefit all of us who care about keeping the lights on when the grid goes dark. EcoFlow. Another company making a strong push into home backup is EcoFlow. At RE Plus this year, they were featuring their new Ocean Pro system, and this isn't just another portable power station. It's a complete residential energy storage system designed to tie directly into a home. The Ocean Pro is designed around larger battery modules and a smart inverter setup, aiming to provide households with both backup power during outages and efficient day-to-day -day energy management. In other words, it's not only there for emergencies, it can also help you reduce reliance on the grid by pairing with solar and managing your loads more efficiently. Now, what stood out to me is how EcoFlow is trying to create a more integrated experience. Their portable products have always been popular because they're easy to use, and with the Ocean Pro, they're carrying the same plug-and-play philosophy into a bigger system that can actually handle critical household loads. For preppers, the takeaway is this. EcoFlow is stepping firmly into the home backup market with a system that's meant to be part of your infrastructure, not just something you haul out in a pinch. It demonstrates how rapidly the industry is transitioning from small portable units to robust residential backup solutions. CATL. I also stopped by to see CATL on the show floor. They're the world's biggest battery maker, and what they build for the grid often trickles down into home backup power over time. The headlines right now is long life utility scale storage. CATL's new Tinner container is a 6.25 megawatt system designed for zero degradation in the first five years. That's a big deal for reliability and lifetime costs on the grid, and it signals where battery durability is headed. Looking slightly ahead, CATL is commercializing sodium ion under the Noxra brand with massive production slated to start late in 2025. Sodium is cheaper and more abundant than lithium and performs better in the cold, which could lower costs and improve winter reliability for future backup solutions, though today it shows up first in mobility in larger systems before it reaches residential scale. For context, CATL already ships complete energy storage platforms. Think of it as utility, commercial, and some residential applications and keeps iterating on safety and cycle life. As these grid scale advances mature, higher cycle counts, better thermal safety, smarter management, they tend to filter into home batteries through partner brands and installers. Translation for us, expect future residential systems to last longer, be safer under stress, and gradually get more affordable, especially if sodium ion ramps the way CATL projects. Walking through RE Plus this year, one thing became very clear. The future of backup power is moving beyond little portable boxes and scalable household level systems. Every major player from the familiar names like Jackery, Blue Eddy, EcoFlow to giants like CATL is pointing in the same direction. Bigger batteries, smarter integration and technology that makes riding through an outage simpler and more reliable. And for people like us, this is good news. It means that we have more options than ever before and we can pick a path that fits our situation and budget. Some folks will start with an essential kit, a unit like Jackery's Home Power 3000 paired with a transfer switch to keep the fridge, router, and lights running when the grid goes out. And that's a very practical entry point. And for many homes, it's all you need. Now, others may choose to invest in a larger backup system like EcoFlow's Ocean Pro or Blue Eddy's Apex. And these are designed to cover more critical circuits, last longer, and recharge faster from solar. They sit in the middle ground between portable generators and whole home installer-based solutions. And then there's a horizon. Companies like CATL working on sodium ion batteries and ultra durable grid scale storage. That technology may take a few years to reach a consumer level, but when it does, it could mean longer lasting batteries, better performance in the cold and lower costs thanks to more abundant materials. And for anyone planning long-term resilience, that's a trend worth watching. So where does that leave us right now? My takeaway from this event is this. Home backup power is becoming modular and scalable. You no longer have to choose between a small camping battery and a 20,000 whole home system. You can start small, you can cover your essentials, and then expand as your needs and budget grow. That flexibility didn't exist a few years ago, and it's a huge shift in how we think about protecting our homes. The next few years are going to bring even more options. Smarter panels, better batteries, and improved safety standards that are all headed our way. And for those of us who want to be ready for the unexpected, the tools are getting better, more affordable, and more practical. So that's what I saw at RE+. The industry is clearly investing in making home backup power a mainstream solution, not just a niche gadget. And if you've been on the fence, now's the time to start thinking about which path makes sense for you, whether that's a starter system for essentials or a larger backup setup that can carry more of your home. If you have any thoughts or feedback, feel free to post that below. And as always, stay safe out there.